Yo, yo, Spectre here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a double cup styrofoam filled with juice in Blender. First things first, open up Blender. Then select everything from the area, then delete it. Then do Shift A and then go to Mesh and then select Cylinder. Then hit Tab and then hit number three on your keyboard. And select the top face. Then select Inset Faces and inset the face just slightly. Then go over to wireframe. Then go over to extrude. Then hit one on your number pad. And then bring this down. And just about there. Then go back to solid view. Then select the face. Go back to inset face. Inset a little bit. And then go to extrude, then hit one again on your number pad, and then go back to wireframe, bring it up, and then hit S. Then go back to select box, and then hit one again on your number pad, and then also hit two on your keyboard, then select everything here, and then hit S, and scale it down, and then hover over to your move. And you can also break this down slightly. Then hit one on your keyboard and then select all the vertices and make sure that all of them are selected. Then hit one on your number pad and then hit E and extrude a bit. Then extrude again one more time. And then insert a loop cut, do control R and then hover and make sure that you're selected on the outside layer, just like this, then select it and then move it up and around this area here. Then hit three on your, on your keyboard, then go over to solid view and then select the faces over here and then hit control and number one to go to the other side and then hold shift and select the other faces. And then go over here to where it says extrude and then select it and hold it. And then you're going to see this other window here that says extrude along normals. And then just pull it out. And then now do the same on the other ones. And then hit one in your number pad. And this one, you're going to want to do it slightly a little bit bigger than the bottom layer. And it should look something like this. Now let's go over to the modifiers and then add a solidify surface modifier. And then here on the viewport, hit six and the same on render. Then hit tab and then select and shade smooth. And here is the double cup. Afterwards, click on this icon here and then hit apply. That way your cup, it's pretty much good to go. And also one more thing, while working on this project, just do control S and then just save your file type. And then just save it because, you know, it may crash um, once we go to the next steps. Now let's add some color to the cup, go over to materials and then select this icon here and then just select material and over on the base color, select it and then just increase this bar up here. And I'm going to leave everything as is because it is just a styrofoam cup, nothing more to it. Then up here on the name of it, just rename it. Hide your cup. Then do shift A, then go over to mesh, and then go over to cylinder again. Then hit tab, then hit three, and then select the top face, then hit the delete key, then hit faces. And then go over back to the vertices, select all the top vertices, and then do control and F, and you're gonna see this window. Then hit grid fill, 
and then you can select the bottom vertices and then shift select and you can increase it up a little bit with the move tool but not so high just about like that then hit tab again then do shift a and then go to mesh and then with plane and then you can go back to the move tool bring it up right underneath the surface and then go over to your modifiers and then add modifier and then hit ocean and then here on the render you can do 15 15 as well on the render and then here on the space you can do 20 then here on the time make sure you're in the timeline on number one and then hit the keyframe and then here let's add this to 500 and then go to the last frame and then do 20 add a keyframe there then select the cylinder then go over to add modifier and then go to shrink wrap then here on target hit the plane I mean it should look something like this then go over to your plane and then right click and then over here on interpolation mode hit linear now go over to your cylinder and then here on the shrink wrap settings switch the wrap method over to project and then snap mode over to outside surface and then here on the axis select z then select negative and then select positive where it's not on add another modifier go over to subdivision surface and then select four and then four on render as well and then also you can bring it up and then now you can hide the plane so you can see exactly what's happening over here and then you can go and hit tab and then add a loop cut do control and r and then select it and then increase it up and then add another one select and then bring it down then hit tab again then over here you can add another modifier subdivision surface and make sure that they're both selected and then keep them at two and then here you can do Control s to save your file again one more time and then over here you can actually turn on the plane again select it and then hit s and then scale it down and then you can also hide it again and it should look a little bit more fluidly now show the plane select it and then hold shift and select the bottom layer and then do control p and then select object so now when you move this bottom layer um it actually moves together now you can hide the plane layer that way it's just this and then you can actually show the double cup and then make sure that your select move is enabled and you can actually increase it up and it should fit the inside layer of the cup now if you see that the layer is kind of showing uh, you can go over here to your object properties and you can scale down on the Y and then also on the X And that should fix the problem now let's add some color to the juice so select the cylinder and then go over to material properties then new and then on your base color you can add whatever color you want for this demonstration I'm gonna do like pinkish purple and then you, here you can go over to your solid view Then if you hit play, you can see how it's looking like. Now let's go over to a rendered preview. And you can see it's dark. And then you can do shift A and then go over to light and then do spot and then bring it up. And here you can do 5000. And it's going to give us some good lighting over to the cup. Then go over to your shading section 
and then over here on object go to world and then do shift a and search for environment texture then select color to color then hit open and then go over to your local disk and then go to program files and then go to blender foundation then your latest version of blender then data files studio lights and then world and then it's going to be the studio.exr this is my go-to and a lot of my videos i show this one then hit open image then if you go over to your rendered mode or you can just go back to layout you can see that it has some very very good lighting and then now you can also start adding the render settings but before this do control s again now i am going to render this on cycles but you can leave it at ev if that your computer works with it better but I, I like cycles and then on device do gpu compute and then here on the max samples you can do 300 and also 300 as well and then here if you want to have a faster render time on on cycles i recommend using these settings and for even more faster rendering times you can switch this over to 0.1 and that should actually increase the speed of your render and then over here if you go down make sure to go on film and then select transparent so you can see the the backdrop and now we can go over here to our output properties um, for the resolution um, I'm gonna leave it at 1080 and then for frame rate I'm gonna leave it at 60 and then here on your output you can actually select any where in your computer where you want to have this saved so I'm gonna have a new folder and I'm gonna name this two cup because I already have a, another one saved uh, as double cup hit accept and then accept again then here on your file format um, you can actually put this as ffmpeg video um, for just to have a regular mp4 then go down to where it says encoding and then here where it says container switch it over to mpeg4 and then here on video scroll down and then here in output quality select it and then switch it over to high quality okay now this is all good so you can do Control s one more time now let's go over here to object properties and we can add a camera do shift a and then go down go to camera and then here in the rotation i'm gonna do 90 and then do zero and then zero here and then just pull back the camera you can hit zero on your number pad and you can go up and then make sure to select your juice and then shift select the cup and then do control p and then hit object so now if you move anything um, with the cup it actually stays in place so now select the camera and then select active camera or hit zero with your numpad and start adjusting your angles so yeah, i'm going to be a little close to it and i want to see some of the juice here and i can bring this down a little bit and so what i'm going to do is over on my timeline i'm going to add three keyframes in between so over on the first one it's going to be the y and then also the z on the camera so now I'm gonna go over to 250 frames which because this is pretty much the middle I'm gonna get closer and then I'm gonna go lower select the keyframes and then I'm gonna go back to the first frame and I'm actually gonna copy these frames here on the last frame paste it on make sure to enable it then go back copy this bottom one and then paste it on so now when I hit play you know it's 
moving slowly right now, but then you can select the keyframes, right click, and then do linear. Now let's animate the cub so it's selected and make sure to go on the first frame. And now we're going to toggle the rotation axis. So here we're going to start with zero. And make sure to select them. Now move over to the last frame, which is 500. And also select all of the keyframes. And you're going to see this um, yellow orange line coming out. And that's OK. It's going to go away once we input other keyframes. So now let's go over to 100. And here, let's input 28 and then 22. And then on the Z, 32. And select the keyframes. Now let's go over to 200. And let's leave the first one alone. Let's do 15 on the Y. And on the Z, do minus 100. Enter the keyframes. Now move over to 300. And here, let's do 21. And on the Y, 22. And then on the Z, 32. And make sure to select the frames. Now let's go over to 400. Here on the X, leave it alone. On the Y, do 15. And then on the Z, do minus 100. And select these two. Now over on the 500, it's already inputted. So now if you go and you hit the space bar, you should see a pretty cool animation of the juice tilting to the side. Now <clears throat> right click on the keyframes, go to interpolation mode, and then also go here to linear. And now we're pretty much ready to go. And one last thing, go over to your double cup on your layers. And then select the drop down. And then here on cylinder, select the drop down again. And then here on plane, make sure to remove this here on the renders. So that way you don't see a weird white ocean. So now hit Control and F12. And you should see your render start rendering. And there you have it, guys. That is how to create a styrofoam double cup animation with juice and blender. And if this has helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please make sure to follow my social medias. It is at Spectre3D. And also, you can join my Discord server. All the links will be in the description below. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my new subscribers. You guys are really are enjoying the content. And also, I wanted to let you guys uh, know that I will be uploading some new cool After Effects tutorials as well as on Premiere Pro. And as always, thanks for watching.